the light is getting kind of low. But we thought we'd take a little walk anyways. We're using their path. And it's sort of an old, um, I think it's the old forest preserve path. You can see in front of this deer, there's some barberry. Gives them a good place to hide. There's not much of it, it left. I think the stewards are doing a good job of reducing that population. If I pan really slowly, you'll see that there's probably a dozen deer over there. They like it if you sing to them. Um, they are spooked of dogs more than humans, it seems. But, I mean, I think people feed them, so they're kind of hopeful. And some of them are young and just curious. I wish that grass wasn't in front of his beautiful face or her. All right, Max Zoom on the phone camera. In the background, you can see the truck with the barking dogs. We might have joked about that on a different evening. That guy's like a clock. Um, I don't know this, his backstory. I hate to guess. So <clears throat> here, I'm going to point the camera up. I think they're striving for about a 75% open canopy. I'm not sure. Again, those standing dead trees are ashes. So this little patch of forest is in transition. Most of the ground <clears throat> is well covered with sedges and a variety of grasses. And in the areas where there's less sun and nobody has walked and it's not a floodplain or floodway, there are a lot more ephemerals than in the areas that get more sun throughout the year. Um, it's all kinds of stuff down here. Everything from orchard grass to ramps at this point. <clears throat> so, another quiet evening here along the river. We think this grass might be Elemis virginicus with the tops that you can see. However, this grass with the old seed head is orchard grass. And I'm trying to pay close attention to the orchard grass because it's pretty common in feral farmlands European um, grazing and hay grass. <clears throat> it's everywhere. It's kind of hard to kill. And I'm not sure killing it is the answer. I think a better answer is patience and competition. But every situation is different. Um, if you do some, the more reading you do, the more you find different opinions. But I do know here. And in northeastern Ohio, it does not really respond that well to Roundup. And I really try to not use any kind of herbicides whenever possible. So um, I like to think that there are better options out there for most, um, most places. It's just a matter of doing the, the stewardship and the gardening that comes with it when you care about the aesthetic <clears throat> or a design sense. So, here. Earlier in the year, I didn't take a close look at them. There were these little sticks sticking up and I kind of always assume they're just gonna be poison ivy, but it's not really true. A lot of them are poison ivy, but a lot of them are little baby maple trees. And so, good news, I won't be getting as much poison ivy as I thought possible. See, this one's a little maple tree. 
This one's some kind of ironwood, maybe. Um, hey, get back up here. I am not chasing you down the river, mister. You're not a dolphin. All right. Um, some beautiful sedges. Carrick's Pennsylvania, probably. Um, there was a really interesting place where it was all this curly, dry, low stuff. I think it might have been curly wood sedge, actually. I wouldn't <clears throat> dare give anyone the impression that I'm an expert on sedges because what you find out is you think you kind of know about sedges, and then you find out that there are oh so very many more sedges than you ever thought. So, um, that's that situation. But look at how nature does not allow any empty ground, except for, you know, the little tracks, the little paths, the game paths. And there's so many ramps back here. I don't even want to mention their name because I don't want people to find out. Come dig them up. If you want ramps, buy them from a responsible source or grow them yourself. Don't dig them out of the forest preserve. They're kind of precious. Here's a trillium. There's a few stands of those around in this woods, but mostly it's more open than they like at this point. All right, signing off.